This is a copyrighted work. Unauthorized copying or distribution is a crime punishable by up to five years in prison and a fine of $250,000. Scholastic Audio presents The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, a Hunger Games novel, by Suzanne Collins, read by Santino Fontana. For Norton and Jean Jester. Hereby it is manifest that during the time men live without a common power to keep them all in awe, they are in that condition which is called war, and such a war as is of every man against every man. Thomas Hobbes, Leviathan, 1651 The state of nature has a law of nature to govern it, which obliges everyone. And reason, which is that law, teaches all mankind who will but consult it, that being all equal and independent, no one ought to harm another in his life, health, liberty, or possessions. John Locke, Second Treatise of Government, 1689 Man is born free, and everywhere he is in chains. Jean-Jacques Rousseau, The Social Contract, 1762 Sweet is the lore which nature brings, our meddling intellect misshapes the beauteous forms of things, we murder to dissect. William Wordsworth, The Tables Turned, Lyrical Ballads, 1798 I thought of the promise of virtues which he had displayed on the opening of his existence, and the subsequent blight of all kindly feeling by the loathing and scorn which his protectors had manifested towards him. Mary Shelley, Frankenstein, 1818 Part 1. The Mentor Chapter 1. Coriolanus released the fistful of cabbage into the pot of boiling water and swore that one day it would never pass his lips again. But this was not that day. He needed to eat a large bowl of the anemic stuff and drink every drop of broth to prevent his stomach from growling during the reaping ceremony. Sample complete. Ready to continue?